YouTube, what up? Your boy Big Reed here back live with another one for no days off. All right, everybody. As y'all can see, um, dog food. Yeah, it's this, this, this is the first part of this video is going to be on dog food. Um, y'all can see we just made a run for the, um, for the hounds, man. But, learn something. Learn something new, man. For all you youngsters out there, try to learn something new every day, man. It'll, it'll, it'll help you on later on in life. But learn something new today. As far as with um this brand here, Dog Food, Taste of the Wild, right? As y'all can see, these are the, I guess you could say the same flavor, but two different formulas. Reason being, this is a grain-free recipe, and this one contains grains. All right, um, just read the article Forbes put out uh, a couple of years back that um, they had linked grain-free dog foods to um, heart problems in dogs. Um, so nothing was confirmed. No dog foods got recalled. The FDA didn't make nobody recall any foods and then like that. But um, Taste of the Wild just decided to make a, a grain formula and just, instead of just, I mean, not taking heed to what was going on, which, I mean, I kind of commend them for that, that they, they actually put another option on the shelf, you know what I'm saying, instead of just saying, oh, well. But, I mean, I kind of, I, I commend them on that. But the difference is, you guys, um, if you look at the ingredient profile on the dog and Mostly, the um the the problem that was um the thing that was causing the dogs the problem was the peas and the potatoes, and as you can see on this grain free formula here, it um has sweet potatoes, peas, and more potatoes. If you come down here, you see they have potato protein and pea protein. And that was what was linked to, like once they did the um the study and all that, and all the dog foods that came up in the list, I'm not going to mention all of them, but Forbes had a, has a whole article on it, you guys. All of them had some kind of form of pea protein, peas, and potatoes in it. So, as you can see with this ancient grain formula, as y'all can, if you can, it's turned over right here. They took the peas and the potatoes out. There's no peas or potatoes in this formula, right? So, it is not a grain-free formula, but it is ancient grain, so they tried to get it as close as to a natural, like, as far as natural grains could go that a dog would be exposed to if they was in the wild. But, just wanted to share that with you guys, man. Found found out that little information. Like I said, this, this is what we're switching over to. We're switching over I mean, I didn't know this before. This was the only bag they had on the shelf. But I just, curiosity led me to find in that article. Because I was like, okay, well, what's the difference? Because I can see this with it. And like I told you, we're going to be using this large breed puppy formula for um, this diamond for the pups. And like I said, I didn't know it because this, is, this has peas and potatoes in it, but it's the puppy formula. But that's it, man. We gonna, um, I'm going to catch you guys in the weapon room, man. All right, guys, we are um, in the welcome room, getting ready to do this two-week update, well, slash weigh-in on these pups. Um, and it's for the non-believers out there. We have a two-pound weight here. As y'all can see, two pounds. We have the scale. As y'all can see, the scale is zeroed out. There's nothing on the scale. There's probably an ounce off. 2.1. So, this is a two pound weight. I can see, so it's two pounds. Scale is correct. All right. So, let's go and get into this. So, I can see we have the, the Fantastic Five waiting. So, let's go and get started. Let's, 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 let's disturb the sleep. Let's wake them up. Yo, oh, come on, big mama. Yeah, I know, I know. This. 
is a girl. As y'all can see, the eyes are opening. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, this is a female. Yeah. We're just about to put you on the scale. I know, I know. They're two weeks old today, guys. As you guys, y'all can see, she is 3.7 pounds. I'm gonna grab this other one here. This is a female, too. Get some mama hair all on you. I can see her chest. Stay grown. Everybody's eyes is opening. I mean, so they doing very, they doing very well. Scarlett's doing a good job taking care of them. See, this is the smallest one. She's 3.2 pounds. Right. On to the next one. Here we go. These big hogs over here. These are the nipple hogs. These three males here. See, his eyes are open too. I say you guys, they're gonna be some nice dogs. Yeah. yeah. Nah, this ain't this ain't my noise maker here. So, three point eight, three pounds eight ounces for this big guy here. Yeah, we, we still got those DNA tests coming, you guys. Yeah, I know um, COVID got everything still slowed down right now, but we still got the DNA test coming. Uh, let's grab this big guy here. You want to say hello to YouTube, buddy? Hmm. Huh. Man, you looking for a nipple. I ain't got time for that. I already did. Let's see. Nice, compact, strong neck, nice head. Gonna be some, gonna be some nice dogs, you guys. I don't know who I'm keeping yet. I don't know what for sale yet. Like I told y'all, we still got DNA tests to do. Just, just bear with me, guys. Once they get ready, once I just, once, once me and the wife decides what what we're keeping and what we're gonna get rid of, you guys will be the first to know. He is three point three pounds eight ounces. If all y'all for, for you new guys that haven't watched these pups are off of Scarlet and we use Juggernaut and Colossus. There's two or three videos that I I posted about this breeding. Um y'all can go back and check those out. Y'all can see the mother and father in those videos. But it's all about the pups today. Oh man, now let me wake up Cranky Man. Come here, buddy. Yeah, yeah. This little Cranky here. He's my little noise maker. He's gonna fight. As I told you. You good, man? I'm gonna try to get y'all a good. You can see he. He do what he wanted to do. Yeah, a good picture there. I didn't spray it that chest. These boys are probably gonna be over 100 pounds, you guys. More than likely. He's a little bit, he's not as compact as, as that other male. Y'all can see he's a little longer. 
but he is the biggest male as weight weight wise. Yeah, I ain't got no milk, buddy. Yep. Four pounds between four pounds, two ounces. Four pounds, three ounces, depending on how he holding himself. But like I said, weight wise, he, he is the biggest male. But well, he's the biggest pup, period. Right. But now, like I said, you guys, we don't have any, nothing will be for sale until we get these DNA tests in get, and get them back. And once me and the wife discuss on what we want to keep for the program, then everything else will go on sale. I know one feet, I mean, I can tell y'all this one female will be for sale. I don't know about the males yet. I don't know if it's going to be one or two yet. But one of those females will be for sale. But um, that's it for today, you guys. And, well, y'all go follow me on Instagram, man. Go follow me on Instagram. Instagram is no days off. Oh, excuse me. Instagram is no days off kennels. Um... Facebook also is no days off kennels. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to text? Y'all want to text me or call me? It's uh, 205-544-0919. Again, that's 205-544-0919. I'm watching making silly faces. <laughs> but uh, you can text or call me. Like I said, um, the email address is no days off kennels at iCloud.com. It's, it's, it's the Apple email, but you can. If those are the ways you can contact me. Either DM me on IG at No Days Off Kennels, or hit me up on Facebook at No Days Off Kennels, or you can call or text 205-544-0919 or No Days Off Kennels at iCloud.com. But we're gonna get out of here, guys. Until the next video, peace.